have fun with it. And that's what nail art is. It's all about having fun. We also have her in pink and hologram. Look at that. It's so stunning. You can cut them up. You can mix them with another design. It's all about having fun. So, these are some of the other ones that we launched. Gold, triangle, geometric realness for the girls. Look at that. I'm sorry. My peel off face coat is drying. So dope, you guys. Look at that. On top of a nude, this would be so sick. We also have her in black. I love this one on top of neon nails. Like a bright pink, a bright yellow. So dope. And then we have this really dope, kind of like Indian, little Middle Eastern kind of inspired design for the children. Look at that. We also have her in gold hologram. Stunning. And then we have silver and gold crosses and icons. Look at that. So dope. Love the new stickers. Thank you. Some crosses for the girls. Keep her religious. We also have angels and cherubs for Shelly Gavino's bathroom. That's what I should have named these stickers. Shelly Gavino's bathroom. A new 3D one called British Bouquet. Because these really remind me of the English countryside. Just so lovely. Nothing as lovely as an English rose. This really cool marble jade design. Ugh, I can't wait to do a design with this. On top of a nude nail, you guys. Ugh, be stunning. Then some watercolor effect flowers. Beautiful. Some poppies. Some lemons for the girls, limes and lemons for the summer. Look at that. So dope. Let's do like a fruit salad nail, like lemons and cherries and strawberries and then our avocados, which are coming in round five. Some kiss kiss unicorns. Look at that. So dope. Very like pop art. Bohemian embroidery. Very chic, very Persian rug feel. So stunning. Yes, these are our new stickers. We dropped 21 new styles today. So now we have over 60 styles of stickers, you guys. They are incredible. And this is the one I used yesterday on Andrea. With the cool tone butterflies. Beautiful. So today we'll be using the mermaid one to finish it off to give you guys this completed look. So we're going to be using our ombre coffin nails. big ol' hand, so I want to make sure that she fits perfectly. We were debating too on Instagram, where we was like, what shape should I do today? What length? It was really 50-50, because some people wanted short, some people wanted long, so we were like, let's do a, a medium. that cuticle fits perfectly. Lovely. So let's get our DIY gel. Squeeze her out. And we are going to adhere the one, two, three, go with DIY gel. Get our flashy ready. We apply enough DIY gel to the inside of the nail. 
do that bottleneck and make sure we distribute her evenly. I just did my real nail today, so I did build up the apex a little bit on my real nail. Because I need my nails a little bit on the thicker side for all I do. I don't want them to break. There. Are you guys loving the music? Do you feel like you're at Studio 54? Now we're gonna bake this for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling lamp. I like the music, thank you. We are giving you Studio 54, 1979 realness. A little British music in the background too, some high energy. So we're gonna be using the rest of the mermaid stickers today. And tomorrow, I hope my mom can do my other hand because it looks terrible. But these stickers are so dope, you guys, because the composition is already made for you. So if you are not the best at kind of like putting together nail art, the new ones are so easy because they're pretty much already done for you. They're great for short nails, they're great for long nails. You can really customize them as well too. You can add glitter to them, you can add rhinestones, you can add other stickers to them. It's just all about having fun and just layering everything. And they're so universal, like literally, they look great with every single base color. So now we're gonna tailor her. And I don't want a really sharp square today. I want more of a natural soft square. Oh, thank you. So we're gonna do a nice soft free edge. And we're going to use the golden wand bits. We're going to begin the blending at the Kiroko. Really take your time when doing this step, you guys. And this is optional, but what this does is it reduces the look of a press-on nail because we don't want it to look necessarily press on it unless that's the look you're going for. We want it to look very, very sculpted, like it was a real acrylic or hard gel nail. And by doing this, it really does the trick. And it also makes it last a lot longer. We're gonna go in now with Diamond Manny at a super low speed, like two, literally. And we're gonna go in and really blend in that Kiroko.
Look at that blend. So seamless. How is your guys' Tuesday going? Let me know in the comments below. Very soft shape today. I'm feeling very, very soft. Love the color of the stickers. Thank you. Hello, Max, my darling. Hi, sweetie. Hello, Mary. Here for the daily snatching of the phalanges. I was at all day. Happy to be home. Safe and sound. So we're going to take our primer and we're going to really gently go around the cuticle area because this is going to melt the contact area. Remember, you guys, our French nails and our ombre nails are hand painted. So if you buff or file the top or the sides of the nail, it will make the French come off or the ombre effect. So we want to be really careful to not break that seal. So to blend in that cuticle, we just do a little bit of our non-acid primer so that way it doesn't burn or irritate the skin and it just melts it just enough so that way you have a really beautiful transition between the nail and the one, two, three, go. So remember, there are three essential tools for doing stickers. Our pink scissors, pink tweezers, and silicone tool. Oh, thank you, she sent me some stars. So I asked Facebook why it told me that it was free and it said that they are free for certain people. I don't know who and I don't know when. I guess they choose them at random. So let's pick up this beautiful design and place and then press it down so that way it is just beautiful. Awesome. Look at that. All these stars, that's so dope. Thank you. I feel special. Look at all them stars, you guys. That's so dope. Thank you. Oh my gosh, how exciting. her off let me know if you get free stars you guys take advantage of that there we go look at that mermaid crown realness right here Oh, thank you for joining. Well, it seems like it changes every day, so we'll find out tomorrow who gets free stars. Should I wait, Max? Should I wait? Um, when do you plan on doing the next order? That is the question. Yeah, some people get free stars, others don't. I don't know how who it chooses or why it chooses them or anything like that, but it is a promotion that Facebook is doing with me. I am basically Facebook's social experiment because I am a high-profile person. They are letting certain creators, I guess, content creators, uh, get free stars, but it just changes every day on who it is and who who can have access to the free ones, so I'm not sure how it works. But it is cool though. At least twice a month. Then we're at the beginning of May, so it's okay. Two orders a month is good. 
So remember, a nice even coat of clear press-on gel over the entire nail, and this is gonna melt that sticker into place. And it is also the perfect base to apply our glitter. And we're gonna use my bottom chick, Prisma. One of my most favorite glitters in the galaxy. I wonder if they're gonna show Star Wars on television today then. Awesome, thank you. So I'm gonna add some Prisma. So adorbs. And I'm using the tip of the silicone tool to apply the glitter wherever I need. Okay, I think that's good. Bake this for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna seal everything with a coat of shiny. So easy, breezy, beautiful. And the possibilities are so limitless, you guys. I love these new 3D ones because they just add volume and texture to the nail with no effort. Because I mean, in reality, who has five hours to sit there and get their nails done? I mean, I understand that it might be, you know, relaxing for some people, but it's like... We're gonna miss the buffet. So now we're gonna do a coat of shiny on top of the entire nail. I'm just gonna seal everything in place. If you do not want to use press-on gel to give it that plumping look, I would just do two... I would do two thin coats of shiny gel. So let's bake it now for one minute. Always remember you guys, the final coat of gel, always care for at least one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lab to ensure that all those layers of gel are fully cured, fully dried, and everything bonds and fuses together in synergy. The last thing we want is a wonky nail. The last thing we want is pitting, bubbling, or nothing that's not snatched. Only when I use, amen to that. Shiny, she is a cult classic. 
look so cool into the lamp too. The great thing about our lamp too is that it's bo um, you can take out the bottom so it can be bottomless like how I use it or you can leave the tray inside. A lot of people take out the bottom so that way they can use it for pedicures. So she is quite versatile. She does manis, pedis, and everything in between. And there we have it. Look at that. Remember, after the hand comes out of the lamp, we wait 10 seconds before we apply our oil so that way it doesn't dull the nail. So let's apply cuticle oil to the rest of the nails. And there we have it, you guys. What do you think? Are you living for the mermaid fantasy? Super simple, yet super beautiful. A great look. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out enocouture.com for all of our incredible new stickers. We just dropped 21 new stickers, bringing our total to over 60 styles available now here in the U.S. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and I'll see you guys in the next live video. Bye, everybody.